Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Bomber 7512-H633 double acting gravity louver door pivot set. This is a real common sort of piece of hardware for your cafe doors, your saloon doors, and let's look at it in the components. Here's the bottom assembly. There is a link below this video to what's called the template, and it's really both the template and installation instructions, and when you look at it, it's pretty clear, but I'll just point out some of the things that um, are important, I think, to point out. I've installed these several times. I've machined doors for these several times. They're really easy to do and a great piece of hardware. So here's the bottom assembly. It's comprised of two components. That bottom bolt's a little bit loose, so let's tighten that up real fast. Okay. So, here's the bottom female portion. Uh, and what makes the H, the hold open part of these, because you can get them non-hold open, is that squared off end right there that you see. So when the door is opened at 90 degrees, this will actually sit, and the gravity aspect of this pivot will not allow the door to close it'll hold it open where most of these uh, mo very commonly you'll see um, you know either hold open or non hold open but the only difference really is that squared off end if it wasn't squared off then it would be a, a non hold open version okay uh, before we go any further the 633 stands for the satin chrome finish which is what you're seeing here so the 7512 is representative of the uh, duty uh, rating that we're dealing with here. Three uh, 30 inch doors, 7 eighths to uh, inch and 5 eighths in thickness and up to 50 pounds uh, for these. Moving on, we've got the top pivot assembly and the template is very clear about um, th the amount of gap that you've got to have between the uh, the uh, top pivot bracket itself and the top of the door because when the bottom portion when the door is pushed open you can see that that rises okay so you've got to leave that amount of space three quarter inches what it calls out for to also travel in that uh, distance okay that's pretty pretty obvious one thing that may not be obvious immediately is that you have to radius the pivoting edge of the door, <coughs> pardon me, imagine that my hand here is the jam and the square edge part of my fist is the door. If you didn't radius the edge of the door over, you would see that the outside corner of the door would hit the frame or you'd have to increase the gap between the door and the jam so great. And this hardware is not, you know, made for that. You can see, you know, per the template, you've got five thirty seconds of an inch clearance that are created when you install the door per the template which is basically flush with this plate and you can imagine that the door is going to hit the jam okay if you don't radius it over and you need a large cove boat uh, boat a cove bit is how I've done it in the past I would lay my door down on sawhorses or whatever uh, work table and take my router with a large cove bit this calls for a probably a 7 8 radius would be my guess yeah, 7 eighths radius. It's on the template on, on the left side and on the right side, actually. Um, the radius of your bull nose, well, not a bull nose, but the, ra the radius of your radius treatment to the edge of the door cannot be any larger than the thickness of the door, meaning you, you can't do a quarter inch radius because that's not enough radius uh, and, and allowing the door to still work. You've got to have a, a 7 8 radius or a radius no less than half of the door thickness, otherwise it just simply won't work. Uh, but a 7 8 radius is what it calls out, which means you know, you'd know you have an inch and three quarter inch diameter on your bit, so it makes a, for a very large cove bit, but that's what you need to install these, short of getting into some way to accommodate you know, not radiusing the edge. Uh, you can see on the template that there's two ways to install the bottom pivot. Notching the door out is on the right side. 
uh, which is very common to do that. Some door construction will not allow you to take out two and a quarter uh, wide uh, material you know, of the door. So you'll probably want to review your door construction before you go cutting something. But it's a very straightforward, very common sort of item. Everything is shown as surface mounted. No mortising to do to the edge of the door unless, of course, you felt there was a reason to do so. But that's not how it's called out. Um, if you have any questions on the Bomber 7512H-633 hold open louver door steel gravity pivot set or any other Bomber product, please feel free to reach out to us. I do uh, want to uh, make one note about Bomber. You might be able to see it says Made in USA on that above their logo. Might be a little easier to see it here. That's a fact that Bomber is quite proud of, as am I might have represent them. Thank you very much.